Join B hasn't found a ton of success on Assassins. We'll see if maybe this time around works better for him. But again, he's more been a controlled mage style. Expect and watch for Join B again to. We can see some aggression happening as Spirit looks for some damage onto V. He's still level one. The knockup is going to find him. He's got no escape summoners. They're going to dive in for this first blood picked up by Aluka. And it's so easy to gank from Malachi early in the map by her tower. It covers so much more surface area. So it's very hard to stall out those ganks. Right, here's another gank onto V. They are going to find some slow. And his rage is going to slow down. He's taking some more damage here. He should make it under the turret, but WE continue to look for the dive. Aluka body blocking as best he can. Spirit gets the kill and gets Ooh. out. Oh, he's so close to the minion, the minion. Oh, he gets out alive. Oh, wait, here comes the, the eight second duration of his um, final hour. He also gets bonus AD. Spirit could be caught out right here as he's taking some wicked damage. Doinby lands the snare. Spirit doesn't make it over the wall. He goes down. Shao Gu. Get there first. So Spirit knew that there was a high probability that someone would be there. Got the CC lock and falls, but now in the mid lane. GA does burn the Spirit Rush. He uses one charge. The second one gets him closer to the turret. He ha doesn't have his flash. Oh, he does, but he still goes down. Remember yes. how he roams down? Swift comes down. Mystic throws down the final hour. Swift is on Conan in the back line, but he's got no one to follow it up as Mystic gets some good damage on the TCT. Is he going to get the kill? No. Doinby is joined oh. the fight. He's condemned away, but still lands the chain. Doinby now has got not that much to worry about as there's not a lot of damage down here for WE. They pick up another two kills, ending Spirit and Conan. She is down really rocking out this game. 4-0-2 on that LeBlanc. The Siege should be taking the first turret. A great knockup finds Shie, and I don't care if you're stealth, you're still gonna die to that combo. No way. They should be able to take it down. Aluka doing the best he can to zone it. They need to finish off the turret. QG are gonna continue fighting under it. They're out of minions. Finally, it falls. It's secured by TNT. Now they dive onto Aluka, turning it into a proper fight. They get another kill and decide to back off. Man, W. <laughs> Yeah, things I'll not take the pot shots where I can get them. Yeah, Doinby does get condemned against the wall. Some great damage from Spirit. Doinby doesn't have the distortion. He doesn't have flash. He's got nothing to save him, <laughs> but he jumps back. He gets a kill on Conan, but goes down. So she's going to get more static ship. Oh, hold yeah, on. Push <laughs> set up. They find TCT. He goes low, immediately flashes out of there. The hook pulls him further away. Oh. The explosive cast gets the kill. Excellent job from. Oh, teleport coming in. Looks like this could be a fight as they find Aluka V's running the wrong way. Instead, he's trying to find Mystic. There goes the knockup. Immediately dives onto a flash. flash from the wall, puts Mystic on the safe side of things. But oh. Join B flashes for the instant distortion, destroys him. Conan goes down immediately. Shie forced to burn all three. Split pressure. Looks like they're just going to push this one down. Yeah, that's going to be the first one. Shie goes low. Oh, forced to burn the Spirit Rush to break the chain. Tether, great explosive class to force the disengage, but Mystic is the immediate follow-up target. They're not going to let that Vayne do any damage. It's three kills now for TNT as he's picking up some serious work. Aluka in the front line, but TNT is hiding around the side. Doinby brings Mystic low. TNT looking for the Quadra. Oh. He gets it. He's looking now onto Aluka, who's going to make it into the fountain. No pen to kill for you, TNT. And just like that, Xiao Gu might be looking to end the game. TCD doesn't even care that the Nexus turrets are hitting onto him as Xiao Gu look to take the win. And again, just a massive snowball coming out of Xiao Gu. The front tank line for WE just cannot hold up against this.